Hello everyone, this is GPT Coin. In today's video, I'll walk you step by step through the world's number one exchange, Binance. We'll cover how to sign up, verify your identity, KYC, and trade both spot and futures in detail. Before we get started, let me share something important. I've placed a sign up link in the description and pinned comment below. By registering through that link, you'll enjoy a 20% discount on trading fees, plus 10% cash back. And when you deposit 10 USDTT, you'll get an extra 10 USDT bonus. On top of that, you'll also receive $600 worth of coupons. So if you want to maximize your benefits, I highly recommend signing up using my link. If you already have a Binance account without a referral code, don't worry. As long as you haven't traded for the past six months, you can still get the referral benefits. When you log in through my link, a code input window will appear. Simply enter the code and your account will be converted into one with referral benefits. Now, let's get started with the sign up process. Sign up. Click the link in the description and you'll be directed to the Binance registration page. The first thing you need to do is enter your email address. These days, almost all emails are accepted, but for stability and faster delivery, I recommend using Gmail. After entering your email, you'll see the Terms and Conditions page. Check the box to agree and proceed to the next step. Then, a verification code will be sent to your email. Go to your inbox, copy the code, and paste it into the required field. If you don't see the email, be sure to check your spam folder as well. Next is the password setup. The password must be at least eight characters long. Include at least one number. Include at least one uppercase letter. As long as you meet these requirements, you're good to go. At this point, your registration is complete, but you still won't be able to start trading immediately. To use Binance properly, you must complete the KYC identity verification. Without KYC, most features will remain restricted. Identity verification. Now let's go over the KYC process. If you're doing it on your computer, you'll need a webcam. If you don't have one, you can continue the process on your smartphone. You can access the identity verification screen either right after signing up, or if you closed it by mistake, go to your account profile and click on the identity verification button. You'll need one of the following documents. I'll use the national ID card as an example. On the verification screen, you can choose between upload method, QR code method. I recommend the upload method. Take a photo of both the front and back of your ID and upload them. If you don't have a webcam, you can switch to mobile by scanning the QR code. If you do have a webcam, just proceed with the first option on screen. Next is live face verification. Position your face in front of the camera and follow the on-screen instructions such as turning your head left and right or blinking. This process usually takes as little as five minutes and no longer than about one hour to be approved. Now let's move on to deposits. Spot trading. Spot trading is very simple. On the Binance interface, go to the trade menu and select spot. In the search bar on the right hand side, type the coin you want to buy and select it. For spot trading, you can choose between. The fee is the same for both, so choose whichever you prefer. For a market order, simply enter the quantity and click buy to complete the trade. Your purchased coin will appear in your wallet. When you want to sell later, do the same. Enter the quantity and click sell. Futures trading. Lastly, let's talk about futures trading. Before starting futures trading, you first need to transfer funds from your spot wallet to your futures wallet. Go to the wallet menu, click transfer, set it from spot to futures, enter the amount you want and confirm. Now head over to the futures trading screen. Click the first option under the futures menu and you'll see the chart and trading interface. First, select the coin you want to trade. For this example, I'll pick a cheaper coin. The chart will update to that coin and you'll see the trading panel on the right hand side. Here you'll need to choose between cross margin and isolated margin. Isolated margin, only the margin you set for that position is at risk. Cross margin, your entire wallet balance is used as collateral. For safety, beginners should stick with isolated margin. 
Next is leverage. The default is 20x. Increasing leverage can amplify your profits, but it also increases the risk of liquidation. So choose wisely. Now you can choose between limit order, set your desired price and amount, market order, enter only the amount, and the trade executes instantly at market price. Finally, select your position, long if you expect the price to go up, short if you expect the price to go down. Once confirmed, your position will appear in the positions tab below. To close a trade, the process is the same. You can close using either a limit or market order. For limit, enter the price and quantity you want to exit at. For market, simply enter the quantity and confirm, and your position will close immediately. Conclusion. That's it for today's video. We've covered how to sign up, complete KYC, spot trade, and futures trade on Binance. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.